Well, hello, pipe smokers. It's me, Mike. Tobacco Pipe Collectors here. Doing another check in. Back in town, obviously. A couple things I'm going to show today. Um, first off, I don't know if I've smoked this one yet on here. Wayne Teichman, Briar Stem Bulldog. Holding up very nicely. Beautiful little blast. Very classic shape and a briar stem. So cool. Discoloring a little bit, but it's holding up very, very well. I don't clench often, and this one wouldn't be the, the most comfortable clench, probably. Very hard, but um, it smokes fantastic. Great pipe. Smoking in it, still. Esoterica Kingsbridge. Um, this one's taken a while. I've uh, put it through the paces. I, I, I enjoy it. Straight Virginia. Um, aged. Pressed. Very, uh, it's got a natural sweetness to it. Kind of a smoky flavor. Fig, fig notes. Um, out of the tin. Fermented smell. It's, it's, it's very good. Dark as could be. I, I don't know if I'll be able to show it much on. No casing. I mean, that's just natural Virginia's. Pressed and aged. Yeah, fig. Fig raisiny. It's really good. Really good. It's, uh, it's improved with a little bit of age in the cellar. Just about the right moisture content. It says it's ready rubbed, but uh, it's fairly coarse, so... Um, usually have to rough it up a bit before you add it into your pipe. Packs nice. Um, once you get it going, stays lit quite well. Great, great tobacco. I'm, I'm becoming a fan. Um, today. Today we, well, I had some interest when I showed Oli's pipe the other day and I said I would do a video showing some of his other work that we have available. So I think I'll do that today. Um, four pipes on the website from Oli. Um, two of the lower line series. One, well, I'll just show them. And then one of them's the uh, smokable statue. It's uh, pretty fun. We'll get started with that. Why don't we? Start with, I uh, showed the cob, the monster maze pipe, uh, in one of my last videos. I'll show it again, just as part of the collection. But uh, we talked about Oli and his, uh, yeah, this is the monster maze one, number one out of nine about his take on pipe making and you'll get a better feel for Oli's style when I show this group of pipes. Um, I, sh I should have found one of the resources to go and check out uh, some of Oli's stories. He did do a blog post for us on our website but I think my blog is messed up but if you can uh, go to Oli's website umpal.com O-O-M-P-A-U-L dot com and, uh, and check it out. You'll get a, you'll get a good idea about what Oli's all about. Monstrosity Pipes. This is from the Zombie series. Just, I mean, the, the trouble he goes through to make these pipes look beat up and rough, and they, they all smoke very well. Just a, just a cool, a cool style as far as I'm concerned. I really enjoy his stuff. Zombie, what number? 105. Cool pipe. Cool pipe. I mean, it's it's all mechanically put together really well to smoke. Um, and all his pipes do. Smoke. Now this one 
Straight up Fumoso. He names a lot of these uh, one of a kind pipes, and uh, and the presentation he uses is quite fun. This is a cool pipe. I really enjoy this one. It's kind of a, a backwards. It's kind of a backwards pipe. Bull coating on the outside instead of the inside. Inside's naked. Bull coating's on the outside, which gives it a really cool finish. I mean, classic shaping, you can see it. You can see the pipe in there. <laughs> well, he just does his thing to to make his very unique. And like I said in the earlier video with Oli's pipes, they're not for everybody. I understand that. Um, Oli understands that. He prefers that. He's, he's really a joy to talk to. I've met Oli several times. Nashville, Vegas. Um, he's got a cool attitude. And, uh, and it comes out in his pipes and his art. If you don't follow him on Instagram, do that. He's a. Uh, I, I better show the stamping and, and how each of them has kind of its own unique. That's the number one. As far as I know, that's the only one um, of this particular pipe. Straight up Fumoso. But it's fun. Um, I want to say this is on the website at 150. Uh, I will work with folks. If um, you want to email me, I can get hold of Oli and uh, we'll get you into a cool pipe. Now, this one. We had two of these. Well, two small cool statues, completely different. This is the last one we have on the website comes in in this case and I'll put it I'll attempt to put it together on camera here but like I said his presentation is is equally as cool as his pipes most of the time um, and they are fun so this this pipes fitted right into the case velvet um, put it together And I'm trying to remember which way he usually has this facing. I guess you could do it however you wanted, really. It's going to smoke either way. And it uh, uses reclaimed parts on a lot of his pipes. Most of them, actually. Everything set up to actually function so it's a fully functional smokable pipe smokable statue sets up it's a sitter not for everyone I understand but he is definitely an artist bowl stem cool pipe I dig it um, not for, not for, I don't know what else to say. It's not for everyone. But uh, the details he puts into it, whether you believe it or not, are very fine details. Just a cool, just a cool pipe. Just a cool guy. I enjoy watching what he's got going. Great artist as well. Paints, sculpts, and makes pipes. This is one of a kind. This is one of one. Um, these he doesn't ever copy. They'll they'll uh, they'll never be another one of those. Let's just say that. Um, well, he's also been he's got I want to say one or two pipes on the cover of pipes in Tobacco's magazine. Also, he's got he's been doing this a long time. He's very skilled. He's a great guy. Um, and we enjoy carrying his stuff on the website. So if we take a look at them, they're posted now. Um, yeah, Uli Sylvester of Monstrosity Pipes. What do you think? 
if you're a lover of classic shapes. So yeah, it's possibly the polar opposite of that pipe. But my spectrum of, of, of pipes is very wide. I enjoy everything. I just love pipes. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. This went a little bit long. Um, hopefully you guys stick it out and finish it off. Wayne Typen, Bulldog, Kingsbridge. Yeah, that's that. Take it easy, Pipers. Have a great week. See you later. Sweet smokes.